Hey breastfeeding mamas, Lindsay with The Milk Bar here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to properly store your breast milk. So this is always a question that we get, especially on our Instagram account. You just don't know, right? Especially if you're a new mom. There are so many times that I wasn't sure if my breast milk was still good. So if I went out for the day and my husband gave Coda a bottle and he didn't finish it, could he give it to him again in an hour and let him finish it? Or did he need to pour it down the drain? Uh, and there were times where I forgot to immediately put my pumped milk at work that I had in a cooler with ice in the fridge. And I'm like, crap, did I ruin that breast milk? Do I have to cry myself to sleep while I freaking pour this into the drain? No, you don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over all of that today. According to the CDC, if you left your breast milk on the countertop or the table, so say you just got done pumping and you put your milk on the counter and you had to hurry and go run a few errands and you forgot while you were driving, you're like, crap, I forgot to put my milk in the fridge. Do you have to throw it away when you get home? No. So according to the CDC, your breast milk is good at room temperature for up to six to eight hours. Yes, you heard that right. Up to eight hours, your milk is still good. So you can finish your errands, get home, and put your milk in the fridge, and it's still gonna be okay. Okay, so an insulated cooler bag. Say you get home from work, and you forgot to move your breast milk that was pumped at work from the cooler bag into the fridge. So your milk is good for up to 24 hours in that cooler bag, as long as there's an ice pack in there with it. Okay, so 24 hours, your milk is good in a cooler bag. Okay, so if your breast milk is in the refrigerator, and I don't know, let's say you went out for date night with your husband and you pumped a bottle before you left, put it in the fridge for the babysitter, and they ended up not even needing it. Say you got back sooner than you anticipated. Your milk is good for up to five days. So five days, your milk is good in the refrigerator. Okay, let's talk freezers. Let's say you have, you know, one of those mini, mini fridges in your room, like, you know, the kind that you would see in a hotel. So it just has one door that opens up and it has a fridge compartment and a freezer compartment, but there's only one door for both. So if you have one of those and you're storing your bags in the freezer section of that mini fridge, it's good for up to two weeks, okay? So you have a two week period before that milk is gonna go bad. So if you have a freezer that's a part of your refrigerator, but there's two separate doors, which is probably the refrigerator that you have, that you would see in your kitchen. So you have a door that opens to your fridge and then you have a door that pulls out to the freezer. So one of those freezers, if you're storing your breast milk in there, is good up to three to six weeks, okay? Three to six weeks in a freezer that has its own door. Okay, so a deep freezer. If you're storing your milk in a deep freezer, this is a freezer that has its own door. It's not connected to a fridge at all. It's its own little compartment. So this is something that you usually store in your basement or something that you might have in the garage. Milk stored in there is good for up to 12 months. So yes, a full year your milk can sit in there, but you're gonna wanna make sure anytime you're storing your milk in the fridge that you're storing it um, in the back or middle compartment where the temperature is more, most constant. If you're storing it in the freezer, make sure you put it in the bottom or in the very back of the freezer where again, the temperature stays most constant. When you're opening and shutting the freezer, you don't want it to cool down your breast milk a lot. So a quick general rule of thumb that I like to tell people is the five, five, five rule. So your breast milk is good at room temperature for up to five hours. And then if it's in the fridge, it stays good for up to five days. And if you're storing it in the freezer, it's good for up to five months. That's just a good kind of general rule of thumb that's easy to remember. It's the five, five, five rule. But here's a few other quick tips for you for storing in the freezer, okay? So you're gonna wanna lay your storage bags, and let me show you, down on their backs like this. So when I first was breastfeeding Allie, I used to, you know, it'd get full up to here and I'd store it standing up right because I just didn't know. And it just freezes into this big clump, which is really hard to defrost and store because they're all like weird clumps on the bottom and like super thin on the top. So what you wanna do is lay it on its back like this and then it just freezes into an awesome sheet of breast milk. So then you can stand it up and store it and stack them or you can store them like this, but it's just easier this way. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is grab a rectangle Tupperware 
or you can even use some old soda boxes and throw them in your freezer. And then you can just store them up like this, like in a row. Okay, so when you're storing your breast milk in the freezer, you wanna make sure that you have the oldest dated bag in the front closest to you when you pull out the drawer so you can pull, easily pull it out. And then your freshly new milk that you just pumped, you're gonna to wanna to store in the very back of the line. So that makes it easier. Every time you're pulling out from the drawer for babysitter or for your husband or for the nanny or daycare, you're pulling the very first one and the very first one is always the oldest dated. So that way you're getting rid of the oldest ones first and then the freshly new is going in the back of the line. Hey, thanks for watching the Milk Bar. I will see you next time. If you loved the information that you got here and I hope I covered everything that you were looking for, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can get some more breastfeeding tips and tricks. See you next time. Now that's all great and dandy and that's awesome, so good for them, but you don't necessarily need that much. When you're going back to work, you really only need enough for that first day. So the first day you're going back to work is really all the breast milk that you need. Although,